All right, welcome back everyone. I'm Arali and uh, we are, I think this is part 21 now. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure, but I've kind of been uh, uploading some stuff. I'm out of breath because I just ran up the stairs. Oh, there's an enemy hidden. Well, we, we're here in, uh, what is this place called? I don't remember what this place was called. Does anyone remember what this place was called? I don't, I don't know why I don't remember what this place was called, but um, it's like Arachna something. Spiral wind. We're at the end of the world, pretty much. Like, this is where, as far as people seem to have ventured, and this is where the Beastmen live, very far away from, like, anything and everything, and, uh, yeah, and we're here in search of our, uh, of the Grana Saber, right? And we're going towards the it was like purple cloud tower of the purple cloud or something like that i'm sure we'll hear all that again um it's been a few days for me but you know i just my memory i can't retain any of that info so uh but yeah so we're here in this forest and we're venturing through so welcome back everyone um yeah like i said i've been uh trying to upload some stuff i just you know i recorded this th like three episodes in a row uh the last set of episodes and Oops, sorry, I burped a little. Um, oh god, that's a trap, I've ever seen one. Activate the trap! Is it this one? Oh, that was a mushroom. Another mushroom. Um, and... The vaccine. You know, and then it's like, oh my god, and then with work, and the time change today, today is the day that, you know, we go an hour forward or whatever, so we lose an hour. Oh my god, there's a lot of mushrooms, holy crap. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, I don't know. Work has been really, really busy. Uh, we're in season right now for my area, so we've been really busy. And, uh, yeah, it just doesn't leave that much time. And then I have, like... Oh, is that gonna... Oh, okay. Hey there. Uh, it doesn't leave much time to work on... So I, I, like I said before, I am working on videos, but it's just, you know, I just... It's just hard to... Uh, focus on that when you're always busy. Uh, we can't do Nightmare Ball, but we can do Tremor. Tremor is fine. So is it just me, or does it feel like Grandia 1 had a lot more, a lot more spells that you could use? Um, like, there, there seem to have been a lot more spells that did damage. Like, we have not seen a damaging ice spell beside Crackle, right? And this was kind of, it's kind of weird to me. It kind of seems really strange. I don't know if I'm going in the right direction. I have no idea where I need to go right now, but uh, it's fine. But yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, there are more, but we know what's going to come here. That's Howlnado. Okay, and then this one is another zap ability. Another, um... I don't know. There... Weren't they, like, immune to electric, those little two-legged guys? I don't remember, but I think they are. Let's see how much damage this does. Not pretty decent. I'm gonna try a tremor. Uh, but yeah, uh, it just seems like there was more variety in the stuff that you could cast. I feel like there, there was just I, I don't know. I would have to like compare the amounts of spells or whatever. Uh, you know, so it seems a little like sad to me. Uh, okay, we're definitely going forward. I don't know if I'm missing anything, honestly. Oh, there's another big tree here. We saw one of those before. Um, at this point, I don't know, it's very confusing, and I don't know if I'm skipping out on anything. Uh, I also, you know, I talked about how, like, oh, there's no more lag, duh, 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 duh. It, it, there's still lag, because it's honestly, it's the program. And I'm trying to use another program to record, and it's not as good a quality when I record uh, as this program. So I'm still trying to figure that out, and I'm sorry, guys, that there is, like, these weird... Uh, periods of lag. I don't know why they're appearing, and like I said, I did talk to support for a long time, and they're just kind of giving me these really shoddy, weird answers that are just trying to be like, 
well, it's something on your end, and de 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 and I'm like, I haven't done anything to change anything, though, like, um, I don't know if this is gonna be strong enough. Please, sir, answer me. Okay, that was pretty good damage. I don't know how strong Silver. her howl is. Silver. It's not really silver, but that's okay. Go! Ooh, okay. Well, we didn't kill those guys. But that's okay, because Ryudo can just bash them. There we go. Are we getting another... Wow. We have, like... We have an assortment of Dragon Bone helmets. And we have no other... There's no other piece of Dragon Bone armor, I guess. It's just the helmets. Alright, we're almost there, guys. Moving on. There's some more money here. There's more mushrooms to cut. I know, I know for a fact that I missed something, but I'm honestly sorry, guys. I don't know where everything is. I'm gonna go down here, explore a little bit, I suppose. Um, I guess, I guess we're down to bashing people, which is okay with Ryudo, anyways. Tremor! Please, sir, answer me. Yeah, we see that tail again. That's nice. Ooh, nice. We countered. And we killed a guy. Two, actually. Yes. Ooh, Sway. He evaded. Nice. Alright, Coolio. Threat eliminated. Threat eliminated. Okay. Uh, ooh, treasure chest. Black belt. Is that an accessory or that's definitely not a headgear. Yes. Ups power of moves. Hmm. What is she using? She's using cuts oh, okay. Well <clears throat> I kinda wanna give her this. So the Divine Talisman, the whole idea was to have her keep casting Lotus Flower, but the Divine Talisman only cuts it from 28 to 23. That's not that huge of a difference for us. Um, I don't know what her SP is ready. Yeah, so it's not that huge of a change for us honestly to have that so i think i'm gonna give her the black belt which should give her even more power on the lotus flower and uh the idea is to just use that to demolish all the enemies um so yeah but we're venturing towards the granite saber guys that's the ultimate goal is to find the granite saber so that we can shatter valmar or something like that oh what is this called the great what the Great Rift is what they called this. Uh, this is where, as you guys can see, a bunch of the granite cliffs are leading right into where that tornado is, right? And in Nanan Village, they told us that no one has ventured that far. No one has gone that way. So, or as far as they know, at least. Like, he said that where we're venturing is the place of legends. This is the Tower of the Purple Cloud. So there it is. When the Divine Sword pierced Valmar and finally fell, the earth was burst, rent, and split. If it is as the Holy Book states, then that whirlwind is where the Grana Saber lies. So right there. What a horrible place. It pains my eyes. The wind is incredible. Come on, let's move. Alright, so we see before us a giant tornado in a canyon. Ooh, and we get one of the best songs. Uh, this song, I, I think I talked about this song. This song is called Believe in Yourself, or something like Have Faith in Yourself, is what it's called. It's very, it's very 90s, 90s, or 90-esque, I guess, 90-ish, 90-esque, I guess. It's very fun to listen to. Uh, where do we go? Oh, I guess we crawl down here. We have a little stair. Whoa, what was that? Did you see that? Ooh, enemies. Alright, so we kind of go down into... Oh, we can do two different ways we can go. Can we jump back over? 
We can. Oh no! Oh, what? And I think that hurt us. Did it? It did not. It looked like it hurt us because we were like flashing. All right, we're gonna go back up, and then this time we gotta walk around. Kind of annoying that we have to wait on everyone to do their thing. But I want that item. All right, maybe it's like a cool accessory. Nope, it's not. Can we fall down here now? Nope. I have to literally go back and use the stairs. That's so dumb. All right. <clears throat> but yeah, so we're venturing towards the Granite Saber. So it's it's kind of isn't that kind of strange? So the whole time we were looking for the Granite Saber, and we go to like a uh, Siren Kingdom. And we're like, oh, maybe it's there. And then we go to Garland Island, thinking that maybe it's there. You know, we're pursuing uh, Malthus or whatever. And we didn't really know of the sword. You know, we're just kind of like... Because I think he mentioned something about the sword, doesn't he? When he appears before us in Siren Kingdom or something? He might have. I'm not, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, we're kind of venturing all over the place. Only to find that there's a giant, like, tornado where all of the Granicliffs originate from. Which is like... That's obviously where the sword is, right? Like, the granite cliffs originated from the sword bursting into the ground and, like, splitting the earth open. So it's like, just follow the granite cliffs to where they lead. They must lead somewhere, right? So, I don't know. It seems kind of silly that we're, like, searching for that. Um, what's... Oh my god, another one of these? Jesus, that is annoying. I'm gonna keep walking closer to the wall now because now I've learned my lesson. <clears throat> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, right? It's like, that's... Should have known. Alright, that's okay. We're going back up. Alright. Ooh, look at that. Look at that weird, um... Yeah, so let's see how much damage this does. Uh... Lotus flower. Bloom. That's pretty strong. That's pretty, pretty strong. Uh, I do want to get Nightmare Ball as well leveled up. Uh, I'm, I'm going to wait a little bit until we like accumulate all these points. That's kind of the goal. I want to have all these points and then just like level a bunch of different things up. Because we're doing right, all, all right right now, you know, in battle. Like, we're doing pretty good. Look at this. Oh my god, this is so good. Are you kidding me? This is so good. Yeah, just bash them. Wow. The uh, Nightmare Ball is really good. I, I'm I, I'm just pleasantly surprised because I I just didn't remember it until, you know, a few episodes ago when I was like, oh, wait. I can't jump back up, can I? Oh god, I keep jumping down. Stop it! No, I'm missing all the things. Oh my god, I hate myself. All right. Can I go back up, please? I guess I can go over here and walk. I think you can get back up on this side. <clears throat> of course, we're gonna use our Lotus. I'm trying to hit like at least Lotus three, flower. but I, they keep on not lining up for me pro properly. Stuff. All right, let's nightmare. see if we can put some people. To sleep. Nice. Nice. Wow. He's just bashing on it. I love it. Whoa. Lag. Whoa. Lag. Sudden lag. Alright, I see a bird up there. That was like one of the first enemies you ever fought. Was one of those birds. There's like a little nest. Oh, do you see? That falls right there. You fall right into the trap. I'm gonna go around. Whoa, 3,600 gold? Nice. What is in here? <clears throat> oh. Seed of moves, man's iron clogs, and man's headband. Okay, we got shoes and a headband. Mm, what is this? Suppresses IP slowing. Uh, what am I using right now? Mercury? Yeah, uh, you know what? I like that, because it gives us a lot of different things. Uh, I like that. And then the shoes. Oops. Shoes. Uh, something clogs, right? Man's iron clogs. 
Uh, nah. I don't think that's good for anyone. I don't care about the knockback. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, alright. So... <clears throat> There's a little bird's nest. I love it. It's a very cool detail. Very cool. Um... Oh my god, did you see that? You evaded that. Hmm. Lotus flower. Bloom. Whoa, she killed him. Jeez. I mean I guess. I don't know. Uh oh. Of nightmare. Nice! Whoa! Put them both to sleep. Alright, let's just attack. <clears throat> Done. Whoa! Okay, stop evading! Jesus! What evasion they have. <clears throat> we have a ton of coins, so we'll be able to level up a lot of stuff. Uh... I will do that at some point soon, but right now I'm just trying to get somewhere. Alright, let's go down here. Let's go up here. We can roll the boulder. I'm sure that's something we need to do. Save us a step of walking down there, looking at some kind of, you know, chasm we can't cross, and then having to go back up. I'm sure that's exact. Yeah, see? See, that's exactly what it was. Called it. I mean, I guess it's like supposed to enhance the experience a little bit, but it seems a little tedious when I have to wait for everyone to come down the ladder. Like, it's so stupid. <clears throat> did we get surprised? We did get surprised. I, I don't... I didn't know. The shadows are kind of weird, and then the positioning was just kind of annoying. Lotus flower. Alright, cancel one of them. Uh, maybe I can cancel more of them. Uh, no. Lotus flower. Bloom. Wow. I mean, look at that. Do you see how fast? Like, she went twice before Merrick is even halfway ready to attack. Like, it's so... Whoa. Jesus, that bird is getting pummeled. by bubbles yeah I mean look at that that lotus flower I'm telling you is so good all right more bird action hello hello mr. bird ah are we gonna get surprised again oh my god it's just weird because they come from above and it's really hard to like time that aim that properly lotus flower Bloom. Nice. Actually, maybe I can Notice hit No, I only have one. Annoying. Alright, whatever. Alright, cool, yo. You better practice if you want to beat me. So, we're doing pretty good, but we're going further and further, and I don't know where it ends. Okay, is there another treasure hidden here? Oh god, that bird is like right on top of us. Oh my god, stop waiting. Okay. Oh boy, I don't know what the right way to go is. So there's obviously an item up here that I can grab. It's becoming very, like, this feels like an ant farm, doesn't it? You know, where you can, like, look through the glass and you can see the ants, like, doing whatever it is they're doing. They're like, oh, we're working every day, even though we're trapped in a prison. It's just, like, real life. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's just, like, real life. I mean, obviously that's real life already. But, I mean, it's like being a human. We're trapped in this meat prison. Yeah. Alright, go around. Get the magic blessing, whatever that does, and then jump. Oh, down. Okay, I was like, I'm gonna jump back up. 
Uh, I want to go this way. Can we jump somewhere down here? No. Okay, it's a dead end. Ooh, what a puzzler that was. We have to go around. Alright. Uh, I hate that I can't. The perspective is literally just this. I have to stare at this wall the whole time. I wish there was like a little bit of a view, you know? Show us some of that tornado reaction in the distance. Yeah, I guess that's good. Stuff of nightmares. Alright, well I got three of them. Nice. All three of them are put to sleep. Lotus flower. Bloom. Both of those are dead. Uh Oh, let's see how much damage burn does. Okay, it doesn't do that. Alright, Coolio. Threat eliminated. Threat eliminated. Dragon Bone Helm. My god, I'm gonna have like 300 of those. And I can sell them all and make money. Oh boy. Alright, what's going on here? What are we doing? I have one boulder. What? Are... There's two. Is there two holes? It looks like there's two holes in the ground. Oh, there is. How do I get from? Wait. Okay. So I missed something somewhere. Somehow to drop. Some somehow to drop. Some way to drop that. I don't. I don't get it. I missed something somewhere. Alright, well this officially became annoying. I'm not a fan of the ladders. If the ladders weren't there, or if the ladder mechanic was a little bit different, I probably wouldn't be as annoyed, but having to go up- oh, this is wrong. See, I already went down the wrong ladder now. Okay, well we gotta go back down, guys. Turn around, go back down. <laughs> like if it would let me move when they're coming down, that would be very nice, but... All right, so somewhere on the right, oh, I don't know where that damn bird is. All right. Um, let's zap these birds. Zap them. That red, red flashing. I don't know if I'm hitting, because she's firing at the one that's by, yeah, she's just hitting one. They move around so much, it's really hard to aim. But that's, a, that's the fun part, I think, about this game compared to other... Stuff of nightmare. Whoa, that was lag of the game. Stuff <laughs> nightmare. I'm like, all right, that sounds like a nightmare. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I think is in Grandia is so great compared to, and I'm I'm really sad that it doesn't exist as, as a series anymore. I feel like if they were to make a Grandia game now, um, even if they were to make like a remake, like a complete remake of Grandia One or something, it would probably be super popular. Um, but I just think that's what makes it so uh, unique as a game. Uh, it's just that it's not just wow. He has one HP. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna attack him That is insane to me And we're just gonna bash that one. he's evading he can't always evade right All right um, but the, you know, the positioning, it's not just like, oh, use a skill to attack this guy that doesn't move, right? Like, it, it seems more of a realistic way of, like, fighting and using magic because enemies are moving around the field, right? And it's all about positioning and, you know, placing your AoEs correctly and stuff like that. I think that is super, super interesting and uh, it's something that makes Rainier unique in the genre that it's in, right? Turn-based RPG. 
uh, you know, is it, it definitely has its own, you know, it's kind of sad. I don't know. They so they did um, For those of you that don't know they made a third Grandia, which apparently wasn't super popular. I liked it uh, I, n I don't think I've ever finished it uh, But it became very like you could tell that they were really trying to copy Final Fantasy I think there was a lot of uh, things where you're like, whoa, that's almost like a story that you could see in any Final Fantasy game because a lot of Final Fantasy games are a copy of itself too you know it's story wise and elements and stuff um, while Grandia always had a little bit of uniqueness to it but I think with Grandia 2 in particular or Grandia 3 I'm sorry it became very much like uh, just a Final Fantasy copy game uh, and I think I think people are and I don't know exactly if this is true, and opinions might have changed now over the years as well, how people feel about it. Uh, but I think a lot of people feel like the uh, the way that they did the abilities uh, has changed um, to the point where um, it wasn't that fun anymore, it wasn't that complex and that interesting anymore. They've, they've changed it too much from what I understood. I think a lot of people, that was kind of the complaint. Um, and then after Grandia 3, they they made a Grandia, it was called Grandia Extreme, and I've never played it, I've only read about it, I've listened to some of the songs, because the music is really, really good in Grandia, um, and I, I've seen, like, snippets here and there, but apparently it's, like, more of a dungeon crawler-ish game, um, where the, um, where the group of people go to like different dungeons or something and it's like this town is like a hub world i think is how it is like it, it's kind of like that um Electric and door. that was the last one and then they did a they did a grandia online which i i don't know it, it was like a korean mmo i think that they or you know it, it was definitely like an like a eastern mmo uh, and that was alive for a few years. I don't even think that it even saw like an American release, like even North American or even European release. Uh, and that shut down after a couple years and that was it, I think. Uh, I think Game Arts was then like, they closed down or they were bought by someone, or, you know, all the rights or something. I don't remember, but uh, that was kind of the end of Grandia as a, as a series, which uh, is sad, right? It's, it's very sad because I think it had really potential, but it, why is there just like this random... Is this gonna come into play at some point where it's like... Like, why would this be here? This is kind of... Okay. Um, you know, and that's kind of sad to me. Because like I said, I think there were some really cool, unique ideas in Grandia. Uh, specifically in the first one. I think the first one still is such an outlier in, in the stuff that it did. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We gotta cherish the things that we do have, which uh, we do have some Grandia games, right? Uh, we yeah, we do have some Grandia games, uh, and uh... Lotus Flower Bloom. All right. And, you know, bringing attention, so there's so much talent out there nowadays, you know, we do, indie games have really, over the last, like, decade, right, they've really taken over this, the gaming scene, where, you know, indie games aren't just, like, games on new grounds anymore, you know, like, that. that's how it kind of started, right, it was, like, people making, like, Flash games, or whatever they were called, right, and that was kind of, like, the thing that people, um how people use their talents in making that because it was back then all up to the big companies like you know the big companies like xbox and you know sega and all all of them right to like uh, you know nintendo of course to like make the big games uh but over the last decade you know indie developers and small studios and stuff really have taken like a huge part of the gaming community to like a next level where it's just like there's so many fan games out there now and like like I said indie games and stuff that are just you can compare them to AAA games because they're so full of content or they're so polished or they're so good and their story is so good or whatever right um, and you know that's why I kind of want to play some of these older games I know my channel isn't big but 
you know, maybe at some point it will be and people go back and they will look at those videos and they will look at those games and be like, you know, it'd be really cool to make a mod for it or uh, remake it in like a 3D environment or, you know, whatever maybe. Like I'm thinking of right now specifically uh, Soleil or Crusader of Senti, which is something that last year we played through and it's uh, such a big childhood game of mine. Um, and I would love to see a remake of that. Right? Or like some kind of mod or something for it, or some, some kind of love for that game. You know, it's not something that's very well known, but it's something that I really, really love. So, uh, you know, it's just stuff like that. Alright, here we are anyways. We're going to the Great Rift 2. Ooh, we have a little forest here. Oh, we can actually pan a camera on. Thank God for that. Uh, do we have a... So okay, do we, are we gonna camp here? This looks like a camping spot. Uh, I guess not. We haven't camped in a long while. Do you guys have you guys realized that? We haven't like camped out in a long while. Demon's Tears. Whoa, that sounds really epic. Uh, is that an accessory? Demons. Oh, oh, we already had that. What? When did we get dragon scales? Negates damage under 200? So if they do less than 200, it negates that damage completely. Holy crap. Sometimes reflects damage. Rage ring. I think I'm gonna give her that. That sounds like a really good thing. I don't know how much damage they usually get. Uh, and I'm sure there's attacks that give us more damage than 200, but you know, if it's just like a little thing negating the damage of 200. I'm sure there's gonna be a camping scene. This feels very like, oh, let's take a break before we go to the big thing or whatever. Uh, I wonder if Howl Slash. Burn Flame doesn't work. We're doing Howl Slash this way. A Tremor. I'm just trying to kind of preserve a little bit of my points, with my magic points, because we're going to have to... It doesn't look like there's a safe nearby. Oh, one got defeated. Okay. Oh, nice. Good job, Elena. Yeah, I want to keep Elena alive because, like I said, she kind of, she has, she's the healer, right? She's supposed to be the healer. What does she have for abilities? Let me look at powering up her egg. She's carrying the holy egg, correct? Yes. So she does, yeah, so she does have all the healing abilities on there. She has some snooze on there and she has cure. Uh, yeah, so keeping her alive, I'm gonna try to have her be, cause again, she has mentality super high, which I think helps with healing. Ooh, is this a camping spot? Is this a camping spot? Where are we going? Oh, oh, it's a granite cliff, guys. We're walking along a granite cliff here. Uh, this is stupid, because they're all over the place. Oh, they're immune to electric. Are they immune to electric? Is it fire or electric? I don't know. We'll see now. And I did zap all, I'm sorry. For those of you that are like don't like flashing lights, or, you know, are sensitive to flashing lights, I should say. Uh, close your eyes when you cast zap all, because it is annoying AF. Especially with that red flickering spiral. This? Holy crap. There it is. I mean, it's it's literally it's just so bright and so like, ugh. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I think they're immune to electric. All right, cool. We have a couple of healing fruits. Ooh, item. Seed of Swift. Seed of Swift sounds really dumb. Seed of Swift, Seed of Moves, SP, Agility. Uh, both of these are gonna go to Tio. 
I wish we'd get more of those, like more and more of those seeds that give us um, stat permanent stat increases. Oh god! All right, let's fight these guys. Uh, yeah, burn flame will be fine. I'm gonna use Tremor with uh, Elena. Because I think that does pretty good damage. Yeah, it does pretty good damage. Uh, I mean, she has Quake too, but Quake costs a lot. Got another dragon bone helm. Oh, and that wind is even flickering red. Wow. Some of the graphical issues, like uh, glitches in this game, are just weird. I mean, I look kind of cool having like a red wind like that, but I got so many dragon bone helmets. I got two of this fight. How many? <laughs> I want to know how many I have right now. Okay, let me just see. I have 12. Plus the one that I... Well, I think one of them is wearing one, isn't it? Aren't they? Wow. That's crazy. Alright. Going through the bushes. Uh, I'm gonna avoid these guys, because... Screw it. Screw it! Ooh, boy. Ah! See, that's why avoiding them sometimes is a dangerous thing to do. Okay. I'm gonna fight those guys. I can't avoid it. I can't avoid it, you know? You know? Red wrong. Red wrong? Red wrong. Ah, the lag. Yeah, I really want to end the episode with a save. Like, go into an actual save place. You're all gonna move around. We're all gonna move around. Please, Earth, answer me. Great, what a waste. He's using uh, Beast King Blast on a one guy. Brown. Beast King Blast. I mean, does a lot of damage, but. Force wins strike. All right, uh, we can use them to take in slashes as well. You better practice if you want. Because those are instant, and uh, they might defeat enemies. Really quick. Uh, this is where we need to go. I don't know what's up there. I'm gonna try to sneak by. Another healing fruit. Ah! Uh, oh my God! I made that. I cannot. Ah! I didn't make that. No, there's six of them. Holy crap. We're gonna get bashed. Oh. Wow. That was crazy. I'm gonna use that ball. Sky Dragon Slash. Now's the time. Red flashing swirls. They look really cool, but... I don't know. I don't know what they're supposed to do because sometimes they're underground around you. Sometimes they're around your character. Sometimes they dissipate early. Sometimes they stay. I don't know. It's really weird. I don't know what is going on there. All right. Nice. Uh. I'm just using like really strong. A like field Sworn AOEs, I guess enemies, you can call them. You shall be defeated. Be defeated. Take that. Sky. Sky Dragon Slash. Whoa, see, it's so strong. It does cost a lot of SP, I will say, but holy crap, is that strong? You better practice if you want to beat me. I was like, I don't even care right now. I just want to eliminate all of them. Okay, cool. What do we have down here? Ooh, a new weapon. Discus. Nice. Alright, that's exciting. What do they, they do? Discus. Effective on bugs and crustaceans. Fantastic, because we're fighting a lot of them, and they're stronger. Let's 
good. Fighting a lot of bugs and crustaceans. Well, right now we're fighting birds, but it's okay. what's down this way? I can't. I don't. I can't measure where they are. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. Oh my God! Look at this. Uh, I can't change the camera. I think. I don't know, they're all moving around. That's so, it's so bad. All right, I'm gonna just, again, AOEs as many as I can. Oh, okay. Aim at the one that went all the way out of the way. Yeah, that's that's great. That's exactly what I want it. It's, I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. Great, you can't use, uh, we can use a 10 second slash. Let's end this guy. 10 second slash! See, that does a lot of damage too, though. For single target damage, that's really good. Let them see your rumblings, oh holy earth. Alright, let's see how much damage that does to them. Okay. Killed one of them. Damage. Oh, oh, lag. Or killed two of them, actually. Yeah, nice. Go, Rito, go! Nice. Silver feather! Blessing scroll. That's the one that kind of heals us of all statuses, I think, or something? I think. Oh no! I can't ever. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, my god, and poor Merrick is just getting bashed, too. Oh my god, we can't even do anything. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to put him to sleep. Let's Light make blue. him sleep. Light blue! Bubbles! Got it. great. We put some of them to sleep. Because uh that was a annoying. Uh, I'm gonna try to do another quick. Uh, let's attack this guy. Please release your fury, O oh Earth. Go, Elena, do it. Yes, fantastic. I think she killed two of them. Yes, I see four health bars with six people. Six people, six birds. All right, two of them are dead. Good job. I'll bash the rest. Oh my God, they way out of the way. Go, Ryudo. Four attacks. Nice. Nice. Alright, we just have one bird left. Stop attacking Merrick! I think he has something that takes, uh, that takes the aggro, I think. I wanna say. Oh, fantastic. Perfect! Look at this! We're like slowly dying, but here we are, guys! And we still have time in the episode, so... This episode is like, not very story-driven, but yeah, look! Granite Cliff! And we're going into the third part of the Great Rift. Ooh, so this is where like, the- like, literally the Earth is just like... There is no vegetation here. It's like a desert. Oh my god, we have these guys! Oh my god, remember these guys? Oof. And there are so many of them. How can I best attack them? Probably Notice this one. Bloom. Look at that. Dead, dead, dead. No, don't move. Stuff of nightmares. If you move, I can't hit all of them. There we go, we got them all. All of them put to sleep. So freaking good. Let's see if fire will work on them. Or maybe wind. Flame. Even. Flame. Even. <laughs> so dumb. Alright, they're immune to fire. Alright, gotta use other things.
Spiral wind, tear, him, tear up. him up. Jesus. All right, goodbye. These guys were no real challenge. Yeah. All right, Coolio. Ooh, that's a very satisfying sound. The way you the sand crunches underneath your feet when you walk through. Um, I have nothing where I can get three of them. Paul Burner gets all of them. They're immune to... Uh, I think I'm going to try electric, see how much damage that does. Electric. Zap them! Five of them. Let's see how much damage that does. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, we can probably do a... Well, let's see. Uh, hmm... Let's just do this. I got a ring. Interesting. I wonder if Tremor works on them. Oh, they're completely immune to it. They're not just resistant. Uh, not good. Not good at all. Um. Stuff of nightmare. Okay. Silver. I don't know if that's gonna really do any damage to him. Oh, it does pretty good damage. I think they're I think they're vulnerable to wind, actually. That, that looked like it did a lot of damage. And it yes, and I got another rain. Revival gem, awesome. That's very nice. Ooh, money. Alright. Ooh. Oh, look at this, guys. This is where the tornado starts. A wall of clouds. Remarkable. Ouch. What the hell? What's going on here? Looks like we're not going forward. But it is only wind. We must continue, for we have come so far. But what will we do? Tio, what is your concern? What? Well, what are they? What are those things, Tio? They seem to be soldiers slain long ago. They are my sisters. Soldiers? This would appear to be a graveyard for soldiers. So they're all dolls, like Tio, from long ago. It seems they charged this wall. They were all destroyed, as they knew they would be. Then why the hell did they do it anyway? They did- oh my god, there was like a lag. That was game, that was not recording. They did it as they were directed. They did as they were directed. Let us go to the Demon's Law over there. I can make this wall of wind disappear. Then we go there. 
All right, so there were there were um, so remember we're we're kind of piecing some stuff together here that they're not obviously telling us. So remember when we first met Teal, it was in the in the plant that was underneath Siren Kingdom, right? And they were made by the followers of Valmar, uh, the people of darkness, which the people of Siren Kingdom are the descendants of, and uh, that's why the plant was there. Um, now, they were creating these dolls, right? That's what they call them, these autom uh, uh, automata that would, uh, you know, they, f that, uh, they use them to fight in the battle between good and evil. Uh, now, why would they send them here? Well, back then, Valmar, you know, probably realized, or, you know, a long time ago, Valmar realized, like, after the battle, or the people of Valmar, the followers of Valmar, realized that the sword had fallen here. So they wanted to claim that sword, the Grana Saber. Grana's sword fell here. So the followers of Velma were like, well, let's go claim that sword for ourselves or destroy it or whatever, right? So they send, back then, a long time ago, they send the uh, Automata in to, uh, to, to go through the wall and uh, claim the sword. Uh, I would just want to see if I missed something over here, but it doesn't look like it. It was just a tunnel that led us right here. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like they'd send them in, but uh, Tia says she can deactivate the wall. Uh, and we're going to the Demon's Law, which I, we don't know what that is. Oh, what is that? Do you guys see that? Ooh, that looks cool. Whoa, look at that. It looks like a creature, doesn't it? It's wild. Oh, hello. Did they surprise me? Because I accidentally hit the side of them. Uh, I was hoping that I could hit them. Lotus like, Clark. I only hit two. Yeah, yeah great. Okay. I was like, I was hoping to hit like a lot more of them, but probably a regular AOE would have been sufficient here. Uh, he doesn't have- he has boom. I don't know how they react to explosions. Show <clears throat> your explosive power! Bam! Okay, that did okay. That did okay damage. Lotus flower, bloom! Cancel him, cause... Don't care for him to do whatever it is. Stuff of nightmare. Boom. Good job. I pray that we shall be safe ahead. I pray that we shall be safe ahead. Okay. Ooh, what do we have here? Energy ring. Ooh, that sounds like something that like charges MP or something. Energy ring. Damage ups SP recovery by five. Uh, that's like the next level of the rage ring. It does lower my attack, but it does give me more defense. I'm gonna give him that. Because this Beast King Blast, oh, remember, I haven't used it that much, but it is really, really strong still. Uh, it's really, really good. I think I'm gonna try just to howl right in the middle. I think I can hit all of them. Oh my god, loud train. How about this? See, I think that's how the graphic is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be red. It's supposed to be like a like a mixture of different colors, but sometimes the other colors don't load. Bucks that. Oh my god, that again was the game. Sometimes, again, also with this game, I'm gonna just use a burn flame. I know it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it should end them anyways. Um, you know, some with this game, I've realized also that because I, I let it run, right? I, I put the I put the Wii in sleep mode and I let the game run until the next time, like not run, but you know the the this or the Wii. I said the Wii again, didn't I? The Switch. I let the Switch kind of run. Serpentine. Okay, it's like an item we can throw. Um, but you know, I let the Switch go into sleep mode and kind of hang out until the next time I record because sometimes we end episodes where I can't save. Uh, now, the thing with that is um, that while, you know, that seems to work pretty well, it also, Silver. what it does is like, I, I feel like the game, the longer it runs, the, 
what is that called? Like a memory leak or something like that? Is, is that what that's called? When like something is running for a long time and then after a while it like stops, like a program runs for a long time and then it slowly Stop. stops working, like made. breaking more and more and more, like more glitches pop up. Like isn't that what that's called? Because I think there's some games that are like that where uh, you just have to like restart them every so often. Um, and I feel like that's what happens in the ports of this game. You picked on the wrong where people. it's just it has like this weird memory leak that after a while it start it starts getting really buggy and a lot of stuff a lot of glitches start popping up. All right, uh, let's do another boom right on the middle one there. There we go, nice. That's gonna hit all of them. Go, Merrick, do it! Bam! Holy crap, that was great. Uh, and a howl should actually do a lot of damage here. Uh, you have a howl as well. Right? Yeah, so now the graphic is working. I don't know. It's weird. That's why I'm kind of want to end on a save as well. Awesome. Um, yeah, so let's collect that money and then go in here. Here we go. Demon's Law. Alright, are we going to get some stories? So, do you remember what this looks like? This is, looks very similar to the plant, to the factory where the automata were made underneath Siren Kingdom. Um, we can't go that way. Uh, there's some equipment. Redbird Stone, Panacea, Phoenix Hat. It's the Phoenix Hat. Reduces IP slowing. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and I think the other items... This cures all status disorders on one person. And I forgot what the other stuff was. Red red hat something or red something. What was it called? Red something. I have no idea, and I thought it was like a some kind of, uh, it wasn't a hat, but it was something else. Okay, oh my god, look at this, guys. And we don't have a safe here? There's a boss there. Oh, it appears to be a boss, at least. Oh, there's an item here. There's a safe behind the guy. Well, that's a test if I've ever seen one. Alright, well, um... Let's use some of our items. Uh, let's do... Uh, oh, he, he used a lot of it. Uh, you know, because we don't use a lot of these items. Oh, this heals everyone. All friends. Healing herb. Nice. 250. Alright, well, let's go in. Let's defeat this guy, and then we can save. So he's the guardian. Oh, god. And there's other enemies coming. Alright. Let's see how strong we've gotten before we have leveled up. Um... I think I'm gonna try to just use AoEs to kill. But do you remember? He's the f he's one of the first bosses that we ever fought. So this is like a kind of a test to see you know how strong we've really gotten. So um, yeah, I'm gonna kind of wait a minute. I can use cold. Ooh, that blocks our magic, doesn't it? Oh, we have not seen that yet. Ooh. Oh, okay. Our act is slower, so. Zap all. 
Yeah, I'm going in with some strong things, but also like Nightmare Ball. Again, putting enemies to sleep is really good because it gives us time for the, uh, for the other people in the group to kind of catch up, like Merrick and Ryudo, you know, that are a little bit slower. Um, and then they can cast their stuff. Like a Beast King Blast is going to be really good here. Oh, they're strong. Oh, they're strong, all right. Okay. The stuff of Nightmare. Oh, I'm not hitting the other guy. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! 50 hits on that. Buster Horn. Uh oh. Remember this, guys? I forgot what that was called, but it's the same technique where we get thrown into the air. Merrick can handle it. Crackle on who? Oh no! Please don't cancel. Okay, he didn't cancel. I don't care anymore. Cancel them. I've practiced so long to keep using this, and then I'm not using it. And he can't use that right now, but that's okay. We're gonna use Quake. Ryudo, Ryudo, wake up. Do your thing, please. Uh oh, Buster Horn. No, he's gonna cancel me. Uh, that's so bad. And freeze. Oh my god. This is like a real... This is more than a test. This is a real boss battle. Jesus. That's okay. We're gonna have a little bit of a long episode. I mean, they're just targeting Merrick, which, you know, is kind of sad, but that's okay. Um, so, we're gonna just do healer plus. Alright, let's do it. Sworn enemies, you shall, you shall be, be defeated. defeated! Take that! It's, oh, take that. Sky, Sky Dragon Slash! slash. Alright. Now the annoying ones are out of, or one of them at least, but the other one's gonna die now too. Alright, heal him. Blue. Now it's purple. <laughs> so weird. Alright, zap all. Hopefully that'll get rid of the other guy. That's They're, they're annoying, right? That's the thing that, that I don't like about boss fights. Like, I like boss fights that are hard, but I don't like them where they, like, gimmicky add all these ads that are just super annoying the whole time. Like, that's not fun to me. But we're doing really well. I mean, he's gonna get to attack right now. Merrick is really slow. Whoa, he evaded, though. Uh, I'm gonna do... No, it fell. Ooh, please don't crash right now. That would be great. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna use the Blessing Scroll on him. Let's see how much Burn Strike does. Alright, so you can use this, like, Beast King stuff. Beast King Slash, and Blast, and... Red! Red! Go, birds! I'd like to think they're, like, Phoenixes. And they're all coming in. Fiery phoenixes. Do it! Wow, he's immune too. He's immune. Alright, let's cancel him. Uh, and let's do Nightmare Ball. Can say can slash. Cancel! Can we put him to sleep? Or we'll find out now. Of nightmare. I mean, the first one didn't work, but... Yeah, hit him! Yeah, 50 times, and we did put him to sleep. fan freaking tastic Look at how slow, slow Merrick is. So sad. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep Lotus using... Hmm. That's pretty good damage. I mean, it wakes him up and all that, but... That's okay. He wants to attack him. Uh, can I do... 
Uh, I should do flying tents again. We're gonna cancel you, sorry. Go! Even if she puts him to sleep, I mean, if she puts him to sleep, she can cancel him again, which would be great. <laughs> nice. Sky, take flight. And this is actually putting them to sleep is actually better than canceling them because canceling them puts them halfway on the bar in that big white bar right Here in the middle of the bar where Tio is right now. Um, putting them to sleep puts them all the way in the beginning. So putting them to sleep is actually strong. Oh, that's right, he's immune to fire. I just realized that. Dumb. That was really dumb, but that's okay. I'm just gonna use a howl. Silver, utter. Silver, out of. So dumb, I hate it. Alright, go, 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 go! Eh. Oh god, did, 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 did nothing. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, well. Lotus flower, bloom. Screw you. All right, you're about to die anyway, so. Everyone, use your, mm, okay, he doesn't have any. Zap. Do another nightmare ball. The stuff of nightmare. Put them at the very end of the line. Yes, nice. Again, it doesn't do that much damage, but Man, putting them to sleep is so helpful. I am so happy that I finally realized how good that is. Look at this, guys. We weren't fully... We haven't even leveled up. Like, we haven't done... We haven't used any of our coins or anything. And we are doing pretty well. Ooh, and we get an axe from Merit. We get an Infernal Battle Axe. And we get so many special coins. That is fantastic. So, here is... Uh, so, like I said, it's a little bit of a longer episode. Which is fine. You know, it's not like I'm... I'm gonna get, like, whipped for going too long. <laughs> That sounds bad. Anyways, um, that sounds bad. Okay, let's look at the axe, the Inferno Battle Axe, Burn Strike, so you can cast Burn Strike with it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just, yeah, you know, it's just better, straight up, so. Uh, yeah, and let's spend some coins, guys. First of all, let's see, oh, okay, do you see this, how far we've gotten? We can each equip another skill. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god, this opens up so many possibilities. I'm excited. All right, first of all, let's see what... No, you know what? Let's level up stuff first, and then we're gonna see. Let's power up. First of all, I want to power up her Nightmare Ball, because that is... Uh, I know it costs a lot, guys. I understand that, but it is really, really good. Okay. Um, Beast King Blast. I'm gonna kind of leave that there. Um... Uh, I'm gonna kind of leave the rest of the stuff. Let's go into Book of Swords. Uh, I kind of want to see... Cuts IP recovery time after using skill. Uh, that's something I'm probably gonna give to Tio. That's probably the one I'm gonna give Tio. I do want to see what's on the bottom here. Uh, I think, yeah, there we go. Cuts after using magic, magic recovery. That might be something that I give um, Elena, maybe, I think? Um, I'm not sure yet. Do we have another? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, these are important, too. Makes magic damage restore MP. Yeah, uh, I might really go into, lets you learn priestly skills. So I might really go into the priest role with Elena here and really give her... Uh, maybe, is there earth? Earth forest spells, water forest spells. Uh, I might give her the woodland chant and really have her cast a lot of, um, I mean, what I would like for her is an earth water. Uh, ups earth and water, that's what I would like to see. 
um, like water blizzard. I mean, it usually, I think it gives you like one regular and then one combo, right? Isn't that what it does? Yeah. So most of those give you like, the first one is just a pure element, which is, you know, in this, in ca this case, wind. And then blizzard is a combo, which is wind and water, right? So I think it always does it like that. But uh, I'm going to give her that up this. Um... Pirate's Ring, Magic Power, no one has that right now. That's definitely something I need to use. Um, Quake Blast, Boom Flame, Zap Fire. I might, uh, I think I might increase the, increase this. Speed, that's nice. Uh, is there nothing? Okay, Zapphire, I can increase that. Okay, and then maybe go back to skills. Oh, I haven't leveled anything here. Yeah, I kind of, I, I don't know, I kind of, that was kind of dumb. I just focused on actually leveling. Um, I kind of focused on leveling the other stuff, but, you know, that's kind of important too, though. Um, so that's a little, oopsie. I gotta wait, put all my points into just the books right now, but again, we'll, maybe next time we'll, um, I'll give him a little bit here, and then maybe level up Beast King Glass? Let's do that. Alright, well, uh... That's gonna be it, guys. So, we just defeated another boss. We're here in the Rift. We're getting closer. Um, and, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is uh, super fun. And we're really strong, guys. So now that we've leveled up, we're, like, even more beastly. I mean, this is this is crazy. Oh, I need to... Oh, I almost forgot to equip the things. Let's actually, before we do that, let's equip... So she has this right now. Let's get rid of that. Give her... Uh, I want her to get magic power. I'm going to make her a caster now. I'm going to give her this. I'm going to give her the uh, magic recovery. I'm gonna give her the new one, the, uh, Woodland, was it? Uh, Woodland and Absorb, uh, Earth and Forest. Yeah, so I'm gonna have her cast, uh, Tremor. Tremor is gonna be the one, right? Tremor is really good. It's an AoE. It casts, she casts, you know, so she's gonna be a magic caster. Uh, and I'm kinda take that a little bit away from Tio, I think, uh, just a little bit, but... I did want to do, uh, yeah, so let's do that to her. So she still has that fire, uh, which, you know, fire and lightning still is really strong with her. So we're going to give her, she's she's a mix between both. She's like a quick caster slash map move user. user. Um, aim for counter, let's see someone's counter after evasion. Um, I mean, having that together with evading stuff dash to speed uh, so he's really fast and then strength uh he's just like a regular attacker right we don't we're not really trying to do um anything crazy with him yeah i think i'm gonna give him abandonment the one that we have on max right now uh these are all max. Wow, look at that. Uh, just because ups chances of evading enemy attack, and then we have aim for a counter, lets you sometimes counter after evasion. So the more we evade, the more we have a chance of counter attacking. Pirates ring to get more items. We've been getting a ton of items, which gives us money, which lets us just buy so many different things. Uh, things, strength to just increase the attacks that we do, and then dash for us to actually get somewhere really quickly. So one thing, like, Yes, he doesn't really cast a lot of things, but he's also, he seems kind of bad at it, right? His strength is like his highest stat, so him just bashing enemies with his four combo is probably what we're kind of aiming here for. He's just like a guy that we're going to just attack with, and he's going to use his four combo to b -b 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 bash enemies, right? Uh, with her, like I said, magic casting. Uh, with him, I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm trying to do here, because uh, he kind of has like decoy uh, and then toughness twice. Um, so I might give him, like, a life up. 
and gives him even more. So he's like our tank, because he takes, with decoy, he takes the, he takes all of the attacks, and then he has a lot of vitality through toughness here. Uh, and then we have like one casting thing that kind of makes earth and explosion magic a little bit stronger. So that's kind of what we're looking for with him. Uh, you know, because his vitality is super high, and his defense is super high, but his strength is also pretty good, so he'll, he'll kind of be the tank of the group. Uh, so everyone has kind of their roles a little bit. Again, you can kind of change it. You can make them however you want to. I am falling somewhat into the standard what they would be, but I think it's fun. So, uh, but yeah, this has been long enough. So thank you guys. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it. And let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs>